My name is Richard Hoffman. For the last 25 years, I've been an IT specialist working for the uh, Army Material Command. And so I'm largely doing cybersecurity. I'm doing a, a whole lot of other things with that enterprise architecture. I've been investigating UFOs since uh, 1964. And if you do your math, that's 56 years. <laughs> and I've, I've basically served in many roles as a, the director of investigations for organizations. I, well, we have our own organization called the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies. And we started that in 2017. We started off as just a team. We were not an organization at the time. And we called ourselves basically SCU, Scientific Coalition for Ufology. We have about 20 PhDs that are on board and they, they, they're all across the board in terms of the fields that they're in. And right now we're 100 strong. And most of these people are scientists, researchers, and we're doing other kinds of studies. We're creating our own peer review process, and we're also devising our own journal. We've now looked at the physics of the entire thing, that whole encounter, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. We don't get into conspiracy theories. We don't get into all this other stuff. We look for scientific data. And so we're starting to see that the physicists are coming on board. Uh, we're getting, you know, all different kinds of degrees, and it's an exciting time for us. So let me show you this. This is a video that was taken with a thermal camera. Scientists want data. And so it's not going to be where we're going to go look at something where some lone civilian just says, well, I saw a light go across the sky. We're actually looking at cases where there's additional data. This is, uh, of course, at 9 o'clock in the evening. So what we got from a pilot and the flight crew in Puerto Rico, we all had to sign non-disclosure agreements saying that we wouldn't talk about it. And so we got a three minute and 54 second video of an object. Here's the airport where you now see the object coming in. By the way, we actually caught it on radar uh, first. And at that point in time, a Customs Border Protection aircraft was taking off. And that was about 9.16 PM. So it was already nighttime. They had just taken off and they contacted the control tower because they said, well, I thought you said that we were cleared for takeoff. And what is this object that's up here that's coming toward the airport? And so they basically watched and tracked and filmed that, that object for three minutes and 54 seconds. It makes a loop around the airport and it then goes into uh, the water. It hit the water at about 109 miles per hour. And then it pops up out of the water and it then it splits into two identical objects which have different radar signatures. So we questioned at first the source. We actually took a look at the radar and we confirmed it matched all of the telemetry that you see on the actual screen. So we ruled out fakery at that point because we now have confirmed that it was everything about it was accurate. We ruled out that it wasn't a balloon. We uh, attempted to try to identify if there were birds, you know, you could match up to this. And there's no birds that fly the speeds that we're talking about and they don't split in the two. <laughs> so um, that's, again, going back to a credible source where the data all matches up very nicely.